Okay, so let's do an introduction into Quick Sheets. So as you can see, Quick Sheets is here on what I'm calling the desktop. You can't move this Quick Sheets. You can make multiple copies, but you can't move this one. Now, when we go into Quick Sheets, you can have a look at, you can have as many sheets in here as you want. You can think of it like sticky notes, very big sticky notes. And now there's the um, continuous page. So if we go into one, oh, we need to go into one that's got text on it. Um, you can go down further and further. If you scroll down and you pinch very lightly, you can type here and then you can scroll down more. Let's just go black thick. Then you can type here and you can scroll more. This is the infinite scroll people are talking about. You can type here and you can go more. Now, what happens if you come out of this, we go back to grid view and on that page, which is this, this page here that we were just on, all you can see is the top part of your document. You don't see further down. And just remember, there are settings for each document you go into. So when I select a page, I can come down here and go notebook settings, and I can look at the last page visited so that when I hop out, it will show me the last page visited. Let's go in and pick a different page so you can see. Um, sometimes you just have to work out what your pressure and pressure is. Very, that's right. Now, if we were to hop out of Quick Sheets, you would see that's the last page visited. Now, I personally like, hello. Right now the device is syncing because I made some changes. So it's always good to give it a bit of time. I like um, my settings to be on the first page. Sometimes you will find that it won't work if you're holding your pen and trying to do things at the same time. So watch that. Okay, going back here. So th that's a brief explanation of Quick Sheets. You can add down here as many pages as you like, and you can start. You can always you can start typing and making your notes. I use Grid View a lot because I like to see the bigger picture of what I've got. Again, if you flag this around, you're going to get feedback. So. And then you can delete any of these pages as well. So to delete a page, you press and hold and you have some options that come up here. You can tag the page, convert it to text, send it somewhere, move it somewhere or duplicate it. So if we duplicated it, you can see now there's two pages with the word typing on it. Now you can multiple select. So now you've got two and you can action that we can delete those pages. Yes, I want to delete them. And then you're back to scratch again. The other thing with Quick Sheets, here we go, is you can put a copy in another folder. So let's create a folder and we're gonna, uh, yeah, and, sorry. Let's create a folder and we're gonna call it test, create. So you can see there's a folder here that's white, which means there's nothing in it. And now we're on the main desktop. I'm going to press and hold Quick Sheets and I'm going to, the only options I've got is to tag it, favorite it, duplicate it or send it. I'm going to duplicate it and now I've got two. I want to put a Quick Sheets in my test folder so that I can use it to write notes. 
So after it's finished sinking here with where all of my documents are kept and it's finished, you can see that there was a tick, it's finished. Now I can press and hold. I just want to make a note that I'm pressing and holding the copy. I'm not pressing and holding the original. That won't work. I press and hold and my options now is to move. I'm gonna move that one. I'm gonna move it to test and select a destination, test, move here. Now you can see it's in test. This is the tree of your files. Now we're syncing, as you can see. So I wanna go back to my files and now that file is gone. But when we, and test has become black, which means there's a document in there. When I go to test, there it is. Go back to my files, which is my desk desktop, and there's my original. Now remember, if I press and hold this one, moving it does not an option. The only thing I can do is duplicate it, and when I've got multiple copies, I can move it into all my folders if I would like to do that. Or I can send it by email off to where we go. Okay, so that's a, a 101 on QuickSheets.